The Indian Army's frontline soldier has just received some very bad news. The brand new modern assault rifle he was promised won't be in his hands anytime soon. The Army's effort to buy 1.8 lakh brand new modern assault rifles is dead. The deal worth nearly 5,000 crore rupees, making it the world's largest firearm deal, has been cancelled, leaving frontline infantry troops in the lurch. Army soldiers saddled with the problematic Indian built INSAS rifle for nearly two decades have battled hard for better, more reliable firearms and now the scrapping of the seven-year effort is stinging setback to the Army's modernization plans. In January, Army Chief General Dalbir Singh called the acquiring of modern rifles as a critical deal. Let's now go across to Gaurav Savant, uh, who joins us for more on this story. Now, Gaurav, what would be going through the mind of a Jawan when he hears that the rifle promised is not coming anytime soon? There would be a deep sense of disappointment in the rank and file, especially of the infantry when they realize that the new personal weapon that they were waiting for is not coming anytime soon. Now, this is a new weapon that the army has been waiting for for a long time. They've been fighting either with the INSAS 5.56 or with the AK-47 series rifle and much lighter, better composite material rifles were promised to the soldiers. It would be depressing but they will continue to soldier on with whatever they have. Now, Gaurav, uh, you know, how important is it to have a 100% reliable firearm and what really was the problem with the equipment that the army is using at this moment? That 100% reliable firearm is a necessity of that fighting force. Whether it was Kargil, when you look at the INSAS 5.56, one of the biggest criticism was that the plastic magazine, while they were climbing mountains, that magazine would burst. They would have problem, it would crack. So soldiers wanted a better weapon. They wanted a lighter weapon with more precision, harder hit, all of that with a better sight. All of that was promised with this new weapon. Four hours, uh, four years of training and four years of looking for a new weapon and still no delivery. So clearly there would be a sense of disappointment. But as far as the fighting forces are concerned, in close quarter combat, they will continue to fight with the AK-47 series. Whether it's at the line of control, uh, they have their INSAS 5.56. But when it comes to the special forces, the special forces clearly, they have much smaller, better weapons because those, those are smaller numbers and smaller purchases. That's right, Gaurav. But it will be interesting to know why this particular army uh, you know, deal has in fact been scrapped. What is the reason that uh, is in fact being given? Why is it that these guns will not be procured and what will be its impact on the ground? Now, these are important questions that we are going to look into in our future bulletins and perhaps get in a sense of uh, what the government's response really is. Uh, we'll get you more details on this particular story. We're also in the process of uh, lining up Sandeep Unnithan for more on the story. Let's see if we have him... Uh, at this moment okay we'll try going across to Sandeep Unithan in just a short moment from now but uh, okay we have Sandeep Unithan uh, deputy editor of India today Sandeep can you tell how badly is this going to affect the army Jawan out there well it's only increased the weight of the uh, Indian Army Jawan for a effective a simple effective automatic rifle uh, the army has had serious issues with the INSAS rifle the indigenous INSAS rifle which has been in service fr uh, from the uh, late 90s and uh, the AK-47 rifle was being used as a stopgap when the army began to uh, look for a new automatic weapon about five years, six years back. This contract has been in the pipeline for the last seven years, but now with this scrapping that happened uh, two weeks back, the wait has gone, uh, it's going to continue for another five years at least. Now, Sandeep, uh, how could a professional fighting force and system get this so badly wrong? I mean, who's accountable for this, uh, you know, deal not going through? 
Well, there are serious questions that are being raised in the army about the process of uh, framing what is called the GSQRs, the General Staff Qualitative Requirements. In this case, the army seemed to have made GSQRs that were almost impossible for manufacturers to meet. Uh, they've asked for a rifle where uh, uh, the manufacturers had to pr produce prototypes. And the five weapons that were in service, uh, only about two of them were actually um, in service with armies in the rest of the world.